starring actors or actresses in the room? <laughs> Do I have anybody that's willing to be an actor or actress in this room? Jenny De Lorenzo in. You'd probably rather, you know, go ahead and volunteer than have me pick out a bridge. I need three guys and two girls. Dr. Barber's like to do that. All right, we got one. Who else? I already did my job. And if we can be quiet on the set. And action. Oh, right, well, let's see. The next order of business for the meeting here today is the new hire. <laughs> Rita. <laughs> Rita. <laughs> yeah, see, see. I just hired her a couple days ago. Man, she's hot. <laughs> Check it out. Good job, Andre. I see it. Well, in reviewing Rita's application and as personnel supervisor, I see that I hired her for her computer skills and her typing speed and not her appearance or body measurements. So we realize that. All we're saying is she's quite an individual. This happens to be real hot. <laughs>
you uncomfortable and you don't want to, to be in that situation. It makes sense. That's right. Go ahead and go to the next step. What I'm going to do real quick is read through Hope Tree's um, employee conduct and harassment just to give you an idea of what your steps are should you feel like you need to take these steps. If you experience conduct that you believe violates this policy, first step to promptly inform the offender and request that the conduct stop. Hope Tree has a zero tolerance policy, and anyone who believes that he or she has been subject to discrimination, harassment, or retaliation should report the matter immediately to the employee supervisor, area coordinator, assistant director, vice president, or human resource administrator. Do not assume that the agency's management knows about the situation. You can make such reports or complaints without fear of retaliation. That's kind of a point I want to touch on real quick is the fact that in a lot of situations when people feel harassed, they don't tell anybody because they feel like, okay, that's going to make my environment a little worse. People are going to look at me to the point where I'm not going to get a promotion, I'm not going to get that raise, I'm going to make people angry, that sort of thing. That's not the case. Okay? Don't fear retaliation because there is absolutely a policy against that. So if you feel like you have been harassed in any way, please make sure that you tell someone. Once notified of a complaint, the agency will investigate it in a prompt, thorough, and impartial manner. The agency will ensure as much confidentiality as possible and will not retaliate against anyone who provides information during an investigation. And lastly, the agency will take immediate and appropriate corrective action if it determines that improper conduct has occurred. Such, excuse me, such action may include the suspension or discharge of the offender. Does anybody have any questions about some of the things <coughs> that we talked about today or the policies or procedures that Hope Tree has in place? Are you guys pretty good about, with everything? Well, I want to say thank you because you guys have been probably my favorite group. <laughs> you guys have been lively. I've really enjoyed having you here today. Um, if you are a supervisor or a manager of any kind, I need you to just stick around for about five more minutes to go over a couple of other things. If you're not, you're free to go, and I hope you have a wonderful day. <coughs> I did. I thought it was very, um, had a lot of very good information, but then I also thought it was entertaining, kept um, everyone's attention. I think it's good for them to have, um, for companies to do the training once a year, just because, you know, we get new people and then. People, you know, the existing ones kind of forget the policy, so it's good to um, have a refresher every year. Yes, yes. Well, I've been to, as a supervisor and a principal, I've been to a lot of sessions like this, mm -hmm. but I like that we got to get in groups and actually discuss with men and women what we talked about to see different perspectives um, about certain scenarios. Mm -hmm. I thought that was very helpful. Well, I think it, it helps put out fires. It's um, it's proactive, and when you put the group of um, employees in this, through this type of training, it lets them know they are exposed to uh, what the rules and bylaws are, and words like quid pro quo, make sure they know what they're doing before they get into this um, situation, or put themselves in a compromised situation where they could uh, compromise their jobs or even their freedom.